Johnson. John Johnson lays up the shot! John Johnson with the goal! Don't worry about that, that's great play with Larson. Only one goal in his mind here. Martin tuned up on a Thursday, took me back in a in a like a, in a minibus that he was with a couple of the um, the people that sort of all the admin and the contracts and everything. And all of a sudden, by the Friday, I was a Celtic player. And they literally take me upstairs and um, I spent I spent um, six weeks really in the um, like on the cancer ward and I'd gone through they did all the tests and everything else and that's when I was uh, diagnosed really with, with, with the cancer. At the height of his career, former Arsenal and Celtic striker John Hartson was one of the hardest men in football. Now though, as he's told ITV News, he's facing a tougher battle than any other against testicular cancer, which has now spread to his lungs and brain. Any sort of lump in your, in your testicle area I think it's very important to go and have it looked at. Um, I left it for the best part of three and a half, four years, and it was like the, it was a half the size of a marble. Don't leave it the distance that I did, because um, you can avoid all the trouble and all the strife, if you like, of uh, of going through what I've had to go through. I um. I, um, I said to my brother James because I felt I could trust him. And I said, I think I'm going to go tonight. But the lads have been tremendous and um, it's all raising awareness, raising funds, which I can then give back to the hospitals, cancer units, children's wards, whatever. It's still a heavy trauma, you know, because it's cancer. And cancer's not a flu, Stan, or a bug, or a disease, or an illness. Cancer takes good people away from us. Every single day of our lives does cancer. So many footballers when they step off the pitch into the television studio are, let's say, a little bit difficult to deal with, uh, a little bit pampered, a little bit precious. That's not John one little bit, he's the complete opposite of that. And in that great old-fashioned TV punditry sort of way, you ask him a question and he just
just simply answers it. Not the answer he thinks he should get, just the answer that he wants to feel. Tom says good strong stuff from John Hartness and telling it like it is. He went, Chris, with a year left on his contract. He performed very, very well after the World Cup. His agent is going to be inundated with calls saying, Boyata's only got a year left. But I don't agree. Could it be a ball?